Hi, my name is Brianna, and I'll be showing you how to make the fishtail bracelet. In the end, it will look like this, or like this, and like that. Be really pretty. It looks like the fishtail braid, but it will be using rubber bands. So I'm gonna use multi colors. I'm gonna use pink, yellow, red, green, purple, and blue. But I'm gonna start it off with hmm. Start off with purple. Okay, so take the purple string and you want to twist it like the infinity sign and then you want to twist your second one, your second color. And then your third color, you just want to put on. So, third color would be green. And then you want to take it and you want to wrap the bottom one around here. And then be using blue next. And I'm not gonna go in any type of order because these are mixed colors. And I just don't want to do that. Anywho, it's just really easy to do this type. You just take your bottom color. And bring it up to the top. Take this one and bring it up to the top. And I'm using all sorts of different type of pinks. So yeah. This type of bracelet is so easy. So 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 easy. So it's like hard to mess up. But it's just like the fish toe. Just like that. So I'm going to mention the steps for you. First step is you twist your first two when you put it on and then you take the bottom one and you overlap it over the top then you take your colors and you see this you take your very bottom one and bring it over to the top take the bottom one bring it up to the top just like that you want to These are so easy. But you want to make sure you're doing all the different types of colors. Then it's so long you want to start to pull the bottom. Stretch it. Just like that. See how it's going so far? Just like a fish tail. But you don't want to pull it so much, but you do want to pull it sometimes, like every once in a while. And then I'm going to start going faster in a minute, so make sure you get the hang of it. But you got to really think fast when you don't use colors, because you don't know what color you want next or whatever. And it'll be just like the fish tail bracelet when you're done with it. Just like it.
just keep doing it. You'll start getting the hang of it. Start getting really easy for you. Just want to keep going, just like that. And after so long, you just want to take it and pull the bottom of it, just. Like that. And so, you know, get better and better. I find this so much easier than using the loom, th loom thing because it's just better for you because your hands get to do like you get to exercise your hands and they it just takes like two minutes once you get used to it you'll go start to go faster and faster and then you get so used to it where it's just normal. So you can just keep on doing it to the hang of it. Hello. Just Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Who's this, Jayla? Oh, what's up, Jayla? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care, Jayla. Uh huh. Okay. Keep going like that. And the only colors I'm using here are yellow, red, blue, purple, pink, and green. So it's pretty like really pretty colors. I always take that bottom color. Bring it up to the top, bottom color. Bring it up to the top. Hello. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I thought your mother was going to bring you. Um, Jayla, let me call you right back. Oh, God. 
That's pretty. Thank you. So you just bring in the bottom one over the top. Yep, that's all you're doing. Except for when you start it off, you want to twist it. Right. So twist it. The first two rubber bands. The first two are in Xfinity signs. Like Infinity signs. Yeah, right. Infinity. Then you take it just like this. This is how you take the bottom. Bring it over to the top. Take the bottom of this screen. Bring it over to the top. And we're almost done here. Keep on doing that same thing. And we're almost done here. Then you want to pull it after you do it for a little bit again. And you kind of want to measure your arm so it's not long enough yet. Well, you don't want it really big. Yeah. It's probably a long enough. A few more. Then you just want to do a few extra then. Supposed to. Mm. Start it off with purple. So you want to end it with purple. And then you want to pull it just like that, and that should actually be long enough. Then you want to take the second string, and you want to bring it over the top to finish it. Then you want to take you want to pull it one more time. Really long this time. And you want to take your C clip and you want to put it in there. And then put your second one, your second band in there. Put it 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 in there
pull it, make sure so it can stay in there. And then you want to take this one and put it in there. And you're done. This so house finished off. This is what it looks like. So I'm it. Just like that. It looks actually like kind of like your rainbow. Mm-hmm. A fi rainbow fishtail. Yep. It's beautiful. Thanks. Great job. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brianna, and I'll be showing you how to do a one-string um, bracelet. It's going to be really thin. So first, you choose out the colors you want. And I'm going to do three colors. And I'm going to choose... Pink, purple, and blue. So you take your two fingers. The first step is you take your two fingers and you twist the first one that you put on your hand. And then the rest of it, you don't have to worry about twisting it. So then you take the next one and you just put it on there regular like this. You don't need to twist it after that. Then you put another one on it. Then you take the string that you twisted, the string that's on the bottom, and put it over the top of it. Then the color that's on here, if you're doing a pattern, you usually put that color on top after you're done. So then you take the bottom one and you put it all over the, through the top. Then purple will go on top next. Then you take the bottom string again and you put it on top. And then take this again and you put it on top. Then you take the blue string and you put it on top. And then the blue is in the middle so you have to put a blue on top and then you take the purple string and you put it on top so it's always will be like when you're doing the bracelet you have to always like take the bottom string and put it onto the over the top string so just like this and this is how you make it without the loom you can just do it with your two fingers and it will be easier and quicker. So you just keep on doing that. And you will form a pattern depending on if you want one. And then after so long, you start pulling it so it can be stretchy. So that that way, you won't have to worry about it not fitting or not being long enough. Then you put the pink one on again. So how you know what you're putting on top is because this middle color right here that's on top you will put that next color on and then you'll take the purple again and do like that and then you pull so it can be stretchy then you just keep on following that pattern And after so long, it will grow and grow and grow. And that way it will be pretty and you will be able to fit it. And you never want to twist them again. Because then they won't be like this. You just want to twist the first one that you got. So you, at the end you can put it on to... A S clip.
and you're just using your two fingers here and you always put this take it on top and then take this put it on top and it's pretty easy you will just start doing it after a while after you learn it you will just start automatically doing it and then after so long you will get the hang of it and when you're done it will look like When you're done, it will look like this. But except for the fact that I'm using um, one color, no, two different shades of pink on this one. And then on this color, I'm using three different, whole different colors. So it will look like this, but only different colors. And then you see the clip that you will put on when you're done with it. So it turn out really pretty. And then you just keep on pulling the string so it can stretch. This should only take you like six minutes if you put time and effort into it. But once you start getting the hang of it, you can go really fast and do it. The reason why this is so much better is because like you don't have to keep on putting it on a loom thing. You could just use your two fingers and stuff and you wouldn't have to really keep on messing up and starting over. You would just get the hang of it and you'll just keep on doing that. So I'm going to reinforce the steps for you guys. So first you would twist it on your two fingers and then you would just put it on regular after that. And then you would just start doing like this, bringing the bottom one, putting it over there, bringing this bottom one, putting it over there. The middle color is the color that you're going to put on next if you're doing a type of pattern but if you're not it really doesn't matter you still would do the same thing but you wouldn't have to worry about the colors and depending on the size of your wrist that's when you want to stop This will take effort and time and your patience. Like you can't be rushing yourself or like, oh my gosh, I didn't do that right. Because these are actually easier and you won't really mess up if you're actually trying and putting your best effort into it. But you'll just get the hang of it. Just keep on bringing this bottom one up here. And like I say, at the end of it, it will look like this. See how it's almost there? I'm going to put it on my wrist so that you guys can see that. Keep on doing that there. 
And remember that you only twist it when you first start off. Twist it on your two fingers. And you only use two fingers. Don't use three. Don't use four. You only use two fingers. And this is, these are the very thin ones, so it doesn't take a whole loom set. And you don't have to use the little pincher thing to keep on doing this and taking it over there. So you take the bottom one like that, then you just keep on doing that until it fits your needs or your desire. You can make ring with these rings with these too. Doing that, you'll just make it really short, like this short. If you were doing a ring, then it will wrap around your finger just like that. Then you can put the um, S clip on there, and then it will be easier. So you can make rings and bracelets with this, and you can make a ring bracelet. Which will make it where it's a ring and a bracelet. And then you pull it again so it can stretch. See that? And so that at the end you can put the S clip on it. But it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Keep on doing that. Just taking the bottom one like that. Just keep on doing that. Then remember, the middle color that's on top is the color you put want to put on next. And then you just take this bottom piece, the bottom color, which the bottom color right here is blue. You put it on top of there. Just like that. Then the middle color is blue, so you want to put on blue. So, I'm going to say this one more time to you guys. You only put twist it when at the beginning. If you twist, keep on twisting it, it won't look right. You just put it on there the right, the straight way like this. And then you just put the middle color on there. And you take the bottom piece, which the bottom piece right now is purple. Put it over the top. Take this bottom piece, put it over the top, and you pull. You don't pull each time, though. You just pull every once in a while so they can be long enough and see it's not done yet you would like to if you're making it for yourself you would like to like do it like this to see how long it will go then take the purple one just keep on doing it like that this pink one keep on doing it like that that's all you got to do Oh. I'll take this blue one, put it like that. It's purple. Do it like that. And then you keep on pulling. Each time around. Then you just keep on doing that. Just like that. And then after so long, it'll get longer. 
but you gotta put remember to pull it so it can stretch see how long that is but it's stretchable so then do it like this again and then you put it over there just like that then remember the middle color is the color you want to put on next and then the bottom color the bottom rubber band is the one that you want to put on top over them all. So then you do this color next. Bottom color goes on top. Then this is about long enough, but I'm only going to do like three or four more. A few more. So that I can be able to lock it. So this blue one. Like this. Then just like that. And then you're finished, but you wanna lock it. So you pull this one. So then you want to take some of these. You want to open, okay. and you want to take this, and you see how it's an S clip? It's in the form of an S. You want to take it and just put it in there, and then you let go of that one, and then you put it in there. And then for this one, you take the other S side, and you Put it in there, but then you might want to twist it another time so that it can stay in there. There you go, and that's how you make it. And then it'll just look like this. This. Beautiful.